Well, it took a long time to get here, uh, but at last I have a Browning X bolt on the table and I have an A bolt as well. Uh, anyway, the X bolt is a very interesting rifle and um, I hope the video is intelligible. So I'll just start with basics. I, I took the rifles apart. I can tell you that before filming, I took these rifles, which included the A bolt, the X bolt, and just because I had this XPR from a prior video, I took that out again because Browning and Winchester are one company. So I thought, well, may as well include that in the shooting. Um, very interestingly, just for me, with these three particular rifles, the most accurate was the X bolt, which is um, neither unexpected or expected. I just go by what the results are for me. But as I've always said, um, each rifle is sort of a rule unto itself, which you all know. But uh, I thought maybe we'll look closely at this. It's actually quite interesting what they've come up with to differentiate the A bolt, which has, I think, an excellent uh, market reputation in the X bolt. And I'm not sure why they felt they needed a new product. I don't see that the X bolt is easier to manufacture, but I'm not an expert in manufacturing firearms, so maybe it is easier to manufacture and the margin can be better for the X bolt. But anyway, getting back to the basics, here's the stock for this X bolt. You can get all kinds of stocks. This was the wood, uh, decent piece of walnut, nothing exceptional, and you don't need anything exceptional. Um, as I've told you a few times, the channel is a massive money losing proposition in the first place, so I always buy used guns, which I did before anyway. Um, I'm not sure if this was from the factory or not, but you can see it's glass bedded. And actually I planned on having the X bolt assembled and then taking it apart so you could see what's what. But the fit for the recoil lug, which is here on the action, is quite tight on the stock. So it's not easy to get it um, in or apart, which is probably a good thing. So first off, I thought it draw to your attention that whether this is factory or not, and I assume it is factory, just because of the way it's laid out, that's a good thing. Um, on the bottom of the stock, I mean, I don't know what kind of inletting machines they have, but they're precision machines because the Expo comes with this elaborate floor plate and um, you probably knew a lot more and know a lot more about the x bolt than I do so this kind of surprised me not that it's a bad thing it's just that it's quite an elaborate piece of let's say architecture for a rifle but they must have decided that they wanted something that looks different and then of course the removable magazine pops into here and this is just one of those polymer magazines. Um, it looks like it looks like reasonably well made, and it's got a rotary function, which I'm sure you're all familiar with. Yeah, so that's that, and um, the usual Allen bolts on the bottom, and that's probably all I can say about the stock. This is aluminum, by the way. Um, which is better than plastic. And the design of the stock, I had to give kind of an A plus to. There, there are some principles in stock design and you probably know by now that, you know, I like the British rifles and when a stock feels good in the hand, it doesn't happen by chance. So a couple of the things they did are excellent. One is that it's round through the pistol grip if you go buy a Wesley Richards or a Holland and Holland, when you handle the stock or the rifle, you'll you'll feel something like the X bolt. That there's a roundness in here um, that may be available on the A bolt. I don't know because the A bolt stock I have is this polymer thing. So um, this is a great stock. And actually, I was just having lunch with a doctor friend of mine, and he was up. Um, I guess on the Alaskan border and they they got a moose some couple months ago and his friend used an X-Bolt and he has high praise for these. Anyway, that's a footnote to the whole thing. Uh, the action itself 
is kind of interesting. It doesn't have the, here are the two actions, so you can have a look at them. That's the A bolt. I'll try to line them up, because there may be some things that I didn't know. That's the A bolt. So this rail is obviously too thin and too weak, um, but that must have been part of the original design. Uh, here's the X bolt. You can see the A bolt has the recoil lug here. This is welded on. You may not be able to see that on the video. And then the collar to set the headspace is quite large, so it gives the action quite a length. These are both the same caliber, 308, um, with the X bolt being, like I said, the more accurate model. On the X bolt, they have more of a Remington style spacer here. So there's, this is just a separate piece and they, they didn't make any effort to make it look like part of the receiver. You can feel and see a junction and the same here on the A bolt, but it, because of this length, it kind of blends into the barrel and looks like something different. The triggers you can see are similar. Uh, the X bolt, I think they could have paid the engineering department just a little bit more money to make it a little more complicated, but that's what these companies do. Um, both triggers are more than enough and neither of the triggers uh, is as good as the simple Mauser 98, but you know I'm a broken record on that subject. So we looked at the stock, which is fine, this elaborate floor plate, that's fine too, the magazine. Um, excellent accuracy in this particular case. And then we get to the A-Bolt, which in my opinion has, well, it's obviously more expensive. Um, this is an elaborate system for the magazine. And you, if any of you own a bar, semi-auto browning, you'll recognize this system, which I view as far superior to this polymer magazine. And maybe reliability is better, but I've never seen an A-bolt really jam. But they couldn't offer everything. So I think with the X-bolt, you're probably getting, from what I can tell, a more rigid, quote-unquote, better receiver. And it has that elaborate system for attaching scope mounts, which is why it's called an X-bolt. Um, or so I'm told, because there are four screws here and four there was the... The A bolt just has the usual two and two. Uh, removing the bolts and everything else is quite normal. Here's the trigger guard for the A bolt. Quite routine, but nicely made. It's not plastic. I think we reviewed an A, B, A bolt three, and there were a lot of polymer parts on that. Uh, but these two models are not really degraded models. They're not really in the realm of what I'd call budget rifle. So they're still able to put a lot of quality into them. Uh, I kind of like this X bolt a lot and I gather a lot of you do too. Um, I took the bolts out as I try to do and uh, let's see if I can remember what's what. Well, this one is an A bolt, but it's by 223 WSSM. Um, and we'll talk about that. It's one of my favorite rifles. Uh, I just, Actually, this is the 243, uh, which is another story. But anyway, the 223 WSSM was, is the only rifle that I have. I fired it in the mountains, and I the, the bullets are traveling so fast, and it was probably just a combination of things going on. But there was actually vapor trails uh, that the bullets left behind. Uh, here's the A-bolt, and here's the X-bolt. So you can see the X-bolt diameter is much less than the A-bolt and the A-Bolt uh, 223. I put this just on the table because we were looking at uh, Model 70s and I was kind of admiring the simplicity of the two lug bolt. Now everybody's going to these three lug bolts. Of course, the three lug bolts doesn't give you as many options for where to place the extractor and ejector and stuff like that. And then, like I said, I had the XPR on the table and this bolt reminded me a lot of the of the a bolt just the way it's configured and i can't remember which one goes into which one 
but before filming I tried and I think the XPR bolt fits in the A bolt receiver but it doesn't lock. That doesn't mean anything. <laughs> That's just me tinkering. Anyway, it's the same company but not this one of course. This is the old Winchester from the 70s. Um, which I prefer to all of these rifles, even though it only has two locking lugs. I mean, three locking lugs is nice, and then four is nicer, and then five, and then nine, and then twelve, and so on. But I think two lugs is sufficient, and we know that from the Mauser 98 and the pre-64 Model 70. Um, as far as the trigger pull goes, again, I'm not the best to comment. They were all fine. I got used to them right away. I didn't adjust anything. I never do. I just take a couple of shots, get a feeling for the trigger, and then adapt to the trigger. Um, accessibility of the receiver, well, here's the A bolt. I mean, it's got that extra unnecessary length. This receiver could actually end uh, right there. Uh, this is just that collar, so I'm not sure why they did that. But it's actually kind of nicely shaped with this A configuration. I guess that's why they call it an A bolt. And then the, the X bolt, um, even better, more rigid. There's a lot more steel, as far as I can see. And this, this is nothing for anybody to hide. This seems to be the way people do things. I far prefer the, and I think it's, it's a sounder way to make a rifle receiver, to have the, the uh, recoil lug on the receiver clamped here as opposed to all these guns, like I showed you, where the recoil lug is in the stock. Um, I've seen those out of place or totally missing. Some people I wrote back just glue the thing in because it kept falling out. So then you're shooting a gun, a rifle with no recoil lug. And it doesn't make any sense to me. Even if they save money, uh, they should get the accounting and legal department out of the engineering department and just put a recoil lug on the receiver that's where it should be uh, safeties well you know safeties that they're there but they're never really there you're never really safe unless you're unloaded but they're fine uh, nicely located this is the x bolt Not, no surprises there and i'll see if i can hold both of them at the same time that's the a bolt so i mean if you're comfortable with one you're comfortable with the other they're they're quite similar Sorry if I didn't hold it long enough. But those are the two rifles that, that I had wanted to review for a long time. And I can't see any reason not to recommend this X-Bolt. It really is a nicely made rifle. It does everything that a rifle should do. Uh, feeding, extraction. These days people like these removable magazines. And you probably know my comments on those. Um, there's nothing wrong with a floor, floor plate either, but be that as it may. Um, great rifle, and thanks for all the requests and your patience. It, it just took a while, like I said, to get it in the studio. And people like it when I reach conclusions, so I would have to say that between the two, I'd take the X-Bolt. And uh, actually, 308 is an almost ideal caliber. Sorry for not taking off this scope mount, but it came with these, I think these are tally one piece spaces and it's sighted in so I thought well you can see the receiver quite well even with the scope on. That's about it for these two rifles. I um, thought you might want to see this thing assembled so as I mentioned it's it's uh, quite a snug fit but it, it is a drop in and it takes uh, some force to get it to go together not too bad. Here's the elaborate floor plate you line up the screws and I won't tighten those and the magazine that's pretty good I'll hold this by, by hand force and then the bolt goes here and there you have a Browning X bolt and I forgot to mention the A bolt stock it's easy to forget about because it's just a polymer stock uh, it does have some bedding material here, which you'll notice, and the A-bolt um, gives up nothing. It's very simple, again, a very easy fit. I won't put the floor plate in because it's got two pieces and it's spring-loaded. Then comes the trigger guard, and the bolt is right here. 
and it's a three volt bolt the same. So there you have it. You can get an A volt or you can get an X volt and I think you'll agree probably the X bolt is the better looking rifle but then it's not really fair because this is walnut and this is whatever it is. So <laughs> thank you very much for watching. Please push the subscribe button. We are making some progress on this humble channel and um, if you can join me on Patreon that's great and we put some fun things up on Instagram when we can. Hopefully you enjoy that. And keep sending your suggestions and um, we're going to be looking at the Savage Super Sporter. We're going to be looking at the Remington 1100. Um, I've got a Browning Auto 5 from 1901 and a few other really interesting rifles um, that actually I was amazed with. So hopefully you'll find that interesting. And that's about it. Take care. We'll see you next time.